So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to trade FOMC days using price action rules. Now, before every trading session, you want to make sure you're aware what kind of news are going to affect the market. You want to make sure you're going to check the calendar. You want to pay attention mainly to the high impact news. You don't need to pay attention to low impact to medium impact news. Make sure you are aware in the which time the high impact news come out because they can affect the market and trading around the news can produce a volatility spike and you generally don't want to be trading around the very important news. Now FOMC days are very typical that they will produce a very slow price session prior to announcement and after the news kick in generally the volatility increases so much that you don't want to be trading 20 minutes after that you want to let it cool down a bit and after that pretty much you're safe to trade but let's talk about today's price action because notice we started with the trading range from the open and trading range was very slow. This is very slow, low volume trading range. And when you see trading range like this, right from the beginning of the session, you can generally expect for there to be a breakout that is going to be successful, at least temporary pullback that exponential moving average. And as I can see down to working lower, which that's my goal as a price action trader to identify the channel on the chart, because these candles are always following a channel. Why? Because I'm to follow the trend line rule. Notice this uptrend working higher, break new extreme, trend line will apply or almost new extreme. You can see double top. For that reason, there was this additional push. And finally, when market created new extreme, a high that is higher than this last high, this uptrend played out and market can safely reversed. So as I see break move down and I see two legs to new extreme, I can see prices are far away from EMA. We have a high low confirmation setup of the fell breakout. Now the signal bar is doji-ish. So this is mainly marked as an example, as an education purpose. But just to let you know that sometimes when you see slow trading range right from the open, the failed breakouts are more reliable. But notice after market open, prices are getting rejected by the EMA. And this is, by the way, the blue line 21 bar exponential moving average. And I have a couple of new traders who are asking me about the EMA or what kind of instrument I'm trading. It is all in the description, EMA instrument and the date of the day so you can quickly assess what kind of structure we're trading. And you can see that the prices are being rejected by the EMA. This is very important because not a single time prices push significantly above EMA. And notice we're breaking the support quite strongly. So as I see the structure right here, I need to reassess because I have a series of lower highs, lower lows. So I need to find a brand new pattern. So the structure I'm going to be looking for, the structure I was looking for this morning was this spike and a channel because we have a spike and notice prices are going into a flatter version of a channel. I have multiple confirmations at these highs, multiple confirmations at these lows and market geometry is a real thing. As we know, candles are following a pattern and since bias is bearish, I have the pattern which is spike and a channel. I'm just looking for high priority setup to sell. Now I cannot just sell anywhere on a chart. My goal is to sell a high priority setup, a two legged pullback second entry short. So this is the lowest low of all of these lows. So this is where I'm going to reset the count. We have a series of bullish bars working higher. We have a break below this bullish bar indicating first entry short, but we don't want to sell below bullish bar. So technically I would still enter below this bearish bar. So first entry short fell and pullback. We have second entry short triggering right here. Cannot sell this entry because still the signal bar is horrible. So there is no way for me to sell the entry. I'm just waiting and notice market is correcting to the key entry point and EMA is rejecting. So we can see that the prices are being rejected by the EMA. Bias is bearish. So following the price action rules, I'm looking for prices to create new extreme because this was the first close outside of this channel. So we're not expecting reversal. We're expecting for prices to push lower to create new extreme for this channel. And notice here we have additional pattern. We have triple test because we have one top, double top, and a test of a double top. You can see smaller resistance. So when I was watching this, triple test is one of those few exceptions where you can actually take a first entry if the context is good. But even for triple test here, the signal bar was still bullish, so I cannot enter. However, notice shortly after market offered us a second attempt to sell. I'm gonna reset the count here because we have a new low, first entry short, second entry short, count reset, Break below this bar indicating first entry short, pull back, second entry short right here. So this is a first really decent high priority setup. The single bar is really big, so you really need to make sure you have room to these lows. You really want to use limit order. I don't really like entering at these lows, but you use limit order. 
you know you have to make sure you have enough room to these lows because you can see price action is starting to show some reaction at these lows prices form a new high first entry long pull back second entry long and i'm counting for second entry long because as long as this downtrend is in play buyers are going to get trapped going long on a second entry long but once again unfortunately the signal bar rule is not allowing me to sell here it would be okay to sell into this support because this is where buyers are going to look to pick bottom so you would trap all these early longs who are buying too early because market still needs to get new extreme according to rules in price action but unfortunately the signal bar is horrible and the next bar is way too big and the scalp was already made from this point to this point so the scalp was made no hyper out this setup and we reached new low for this downtrend so according to rules we expect correction or reversal we have a new low first entry short second entry short I cannot take the second entry short despite the fact the signal bar is perfect. I cannot take the second entry short because market already created new extreme. That means we expect correction or possible reversal. And notice how it's getting wedgy. You have sloping here and sloping here. And this is typical structure when you have new extreme. It is only to lure you in to take it short while the market needs to correct. So there's no high probability setup here. No high probability setup. And market keeps pushing lower now you can see that the prices are consistently being rejected by the ema so already after new low here rejection of ema here rejection of ema here rejection of ema here and rejection of ema here so this is not behaving as if you would get reversal already you can see still continuation of the bearish momentum for the reason i was looking for some spike in a channel something like this at first then i kind of extended it like this But you can see, you never want to be looking to go long too quickly. And this spike kind of channel is just, you know, option. You don't want to be relying on this religiously. I need to make sure I'm going to redraw the short and uptrend because I want to follow the rule even for the corrections. Okay, the new lowest form, yes, but we need new high here. We have uptrend working higher. We have a break new extreme. Notice we have a first entry long, pullback, second entry long. So we have visual tool like a pullback, large second entry long. That means that the bullish correction played out and notice prices are pushing below EMA and we have lower high setup, which lower high is a confirmation setup. And what this lower high confirms, first entry short, second entry short, kind of like a visual tool, like a pullback, but there was no trigger below this bearish bar. So unfortunately, there was no trigger for the entry and then market stall. We have a felt second entry long here, new high, first entry long, second entry long. The reason why I skipped it, because this bearish bar didn't take higher above this bullish bar. And since you didn't get triggered below lower high here, it kind of bullish push, it kind of stalled a little bit. You can also see how EMA is going flat for quite some time. You're quite close to these lows. You want to see some stronger momentum. This kind of stalled a little bit. You know, this is not a horrible setup, but just didn't form that well, unfortunately. And you can see prices continue working lower. Okay, so notice. Even if I'm playing the spike in a channel, which is just a supportive pattern because this main downtrend has a break, a couple to new extreme, but you can see the consistent bearish bias still present. We're bouncing or very close to be bouncing off the trend channel line. So I'm really careful about selling too quickly. Notice we already pushed above EMA, which means I cannot sell. Even though I have a two legged pullback here, first leg, pullback, second leg. And we have sort of like a second entry short. I cannot go short here because it's above EMA. And notice we're just coming off of these lows. You want to sell high. You don't want to sell in the middle of this while you're coming off of these lows. And the correction phase is starting. You, you have like a first leg here, second leg here. So you can see that the push phase may end two larger legs to new extreme. However, when I'm going to zoom back, I'm definitely not thinking about buying because the main bias still was bearish we traded down from the very beginning of the market open and since i can see flat ema and lack of bullish momentum this is where i'm going to add resistance because it is really looking sideways like train range like and i just want to make sure i'm on the right side of the market so i need to follow the trend line rule notice we have a bullish trend working higher we have a break new extreme indicating that this uptrend played out First leg up, pull back, second leg up. So market likes to move in pairs of twos. And this indicated to me with the clear break and clear new extreme that this uptrend played out. 
And since it is possibly confirming the resistance, and this spike on the channel needs to get new extreme, I'm only thinking bearish. I'm not going to redraw my channel wider like this because in trading ranges I cannot focus on wider channels. So I have a break, new extreme according to rules, we're coming off the highs and trading range rules tell me that I want to buy low and sell high. And I want to sell a high priority setup, which means I want to see prices to push below EMA. Notice we have a new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. This would have been great setup headed form better, but it's still close above EMA as a bullish doji. There is no sign of bearish momentum. However, notice what happened next. We had a bullish double trap because bulls are thinking that this is going to be a double trap. Sellers are going to get trapped, but we're bearish because uptrend played out with the break new high. You're at the top of the train range and according to rules, you expect sell high and the overall bias remains bearish. You can see so many rejections of the EMA. So notice we trapped all the bulls going long here and instant reversal down. This is a beautiful lower high. I really tried to take this trade, but you can see there is a gap and my limit order unfortunately was never filled. And you don't have to be too worried about a little congestion here. That's okay. This is great trap following all the rules and the congestion here is normal because all the bulls just needed to get trapped. And notice I'm not drawing my trend line tight like this. I was already drawing it expecting the channel like this. The reason for this is why, because I already have a break new high and like I mentioned, the bearish bias was strong and we expected for market to go bearish. So since I expect reversal, I don't expect the uptrend to continue. I need to draw it a little bit wider. Regardless, we still have a break new extreme. This was a great trade. And you can see the FOMC structure continues very slowly working. You are in the middle of trading range. When you're trading a tight trading range like this, the safest entries are always at the extremes of the trading range. You're bouncing at these highs. You have a lower high, but this is all stacked, not a great setup. And you're expecting to get the same thing here as you expected here. You have larger two legged pullback working to the upside. First leg here, second leg here. You made additional third leg. The resistance is holding, indicating bullish, excuse me, indicating bearish momentum again. Strong push bull EMA here is confirming. The bearish momentum, you're selling high, the sellers are coming into the market. What is the high priority setup that I expect? Felt second entry long, new high, first entry long, pullback, second entry long, failure. Had this been bearish signal bar, this would have been textbook reversal pattern. But notice once again the signal bar, another bullish signal bar, which is very hard to sell below, that's not enough confirmation. And the follow up bar is this massive bar in the scalp was already made in between the entry point right here. So there is no way for us to really enter it. So even though you expect it, you read the structure correctly, you pretty much can't enter. If you have a good bearish single bar, you can definitely enter here. Dantra working lower, you have an overshoot, which can lead to a break of a channel or possibly straight up reversal. And here you're approximately one hour before the FOMC, which you want to be generally careful because the market really tends to slow down. Notice this is one hour, this entire price action it's almost one hour. You can see nobody's trading. Everybody's waiting for the news and you don't be stuck trading this, risking your money where there's no price action and you can get whipsawed. You can see the increase in volatility, FOMC announcements. You generally want to be patient, but notice the rules still apply. You have a spike, three consecutive bullish bars. You have a channel working. Then you have a break and a new extreme created, but you don't want to be trading right around the news. It is too fast. Volatility slowed down here a little bit. So once we are watching structure like this, notice we have first leg down, pull back, second leg down. So what are rules telling me? Okay, uptrend played out with the break in your high. However, we traded up into the string range and the bias was quite bullish. And I can see that the downtrend already played out with the break in your as well. And I have two legs down. So even though uptrend has a new high, I see two legs down. I have a train range structure. So we are pushing above EMA. So I'm going to observe the EMA. And if we get felt second entry short, I'm interested. I cannot take high low just yet. Why? Even though the two legged pullback played out, high low is not enough because uptrend played out with new high. If this uptrend was still in play, let's say you can make a case for taking high low. But since this uptrend already played out, you can't really go long just yet. You need to see felt second entry short, which never formed. It was this bearish bar below EMA. You really need to see EMA holding. It never formed and then you get break new high. So there is no full second entry short 
and market created additional push down. But notice there are two leg up pullbacks in price action inside of two leg up pullbacks. First leg down, second leg down. Visual allows you to like a pullback. We have a trading range, most breakouts will fail, and we have new low. First entry short pullback, second entry short failure. Okay, and here you can see why I was looking for the failed second entry short. Because here we are looking at 10,000 tick chart, which is a higher time frame to our 2,000 tick chart. And I'm observing this time frame. Shout out to Bye Bye Money for introducing me to this time frame. I'm observing this time frame because I want to see the bias confirmation. I can't really take trades based off this time frame because bars are too big and there can be a lot of price session happening on a 2K chart. But this is great bias confirmation because we had an uptrend working higher. We had a downtrend with the break in new extreme. And notice first leg down, pullback, second leg down, and we had second entry long. So as I'm observing 10,000 tick chart and I can see EMA holding and I can see second entry long, the uptrend needs to get new extreme. And notice, lo and behold, we have first leg to new extreme, pullback, second leg to new extreme, and market can safely reverse. So you can see how price action works. It's all about following the rules and training the eyes to see. But this is important to see how the second entry long is getting confirmed off the EMA while the uptrend needs to get new extreme. But the reason once we have felt second entry short above EMA, this was my first and one and only trade for the day. Price action stalled here a little bit. And at that point on, there was a power speed, so volatility increased again. Pretty much after this point, any setup I'm going to mark here is only hypothetical because volatility was really spooky. The bars are gigantic. You don't really want to be trading this. But we're going to talk about the price action because I generally move it a little bit lower because the trading range expanded. You can see, fell breakout here. Market pushing higher. First lag, correction, second lag. First lag second lag this is congestion you want to avoid trading exactly in the middle notice fell breakout out of the string range according to rules most breakouts will fail and here you have a lower high confirmation setup of the fell breakout push below ema here with the lower high but this is of course too big this is mainly as an example it's too big anyway but this is low high confirmation of the fell breakout then the downtrend started you would expect to get first entry short, second entry short, but it never formed because we have horrible signal bar. Then there was a longer correction without any decent setup here. You just have to be patient. You, you expect new extreme, but you pretty much don't get any setup. This correction was longer than expected. First leg here, pull back. Second leg here, you can see market still likes to move in pairs of twos. We traded down, so we're not drawing any wider pattern. Here we enter consolidation, small little congestion. And notice we broke out of the congestion. And most breakouts of train ranges will fail. And this right here is small little congestion, the smaller train range. But we are not interested in fading this breakout, meaning buying the breakout, trading it against its direction because we broke down. Because uptrend played out with the break new high and the main bias was bearish. We still need new low. So we're not looking for buying here. We're looking for trading this breakout with additional entry as a breakout pullback. Notice congestion. Prices broke, most breakouts will fail, they pull back, tested their support that now acts as a resistance, and you have lower high breakout pullback pattern, decent high probability setup. Then you get a felt second entry long, and even though it worked for a scalp, you're far away from EMA, so I don't think you want to take it. This bar is nice, but this is way too big, really, really big. Um, but this is, you can treat this as a continuation of the felt second entry long, new high, first entry long. Kind of like a second entry long because here was far away from EMA. And also notice it is a small little felt breakout. So this is definitely a decent setup. This sets up the trend line, which is getting nicely confirmed here. So we have definitely now a bearish downtrend working lower. You have a break, so you expect new extreme, but notice it never formed. At first, I'm playing this tighter channel with the break new high. And once I see break new extreme, I'm looking for prices to push below EMA and to give me felt second entry long. This is all I'm expecting. I can't take no setup above EMA, no lower high. Even the felt second entry long above EMA is not safe. I want to see push below EMA to confirm the bearish momentum that sellers are expecting new extreme. And as the price action keeps pushing above EMA and EMA keeps holding, and notice this is why the EMA is useful because it can help you from picking top when the structure is just showing you longer correction. So not that you're relying on the EMA, you're just using it 
to help you filter the structure because you're able to distinguish what the price action is doing here between the scenarios. You can see EMA rejecting prices. So after you're already here, that means I need to adapt. I need to draw any wider pattern that fits really well. You have a break, new extreme, another break, another new extreme. Okay, uptrend played out. Notice this downtrend needs to get new extreme following the rules. You have a new high. And what's going to be a high probability setup you're expecting? A felt second entry long. First entry long, second entry long failure. But notice context-wise, the felt second entry long here is a great idea. But the way it formed, it never really triggered below great bearish bar. This is really ugly. No good bearish bar, just doges, bullish bars, too congested. Even the congestion wouldn't be so bad here because the context is so strong in favor of sellers. But just there is not a single signal bar I can take and hope that it will work. This is just unfortunately very messy. But first second entry long here is great following the rules. And after that, pretty much market close. When you are playing trading ranges, you want to buy low, sell high. And two legged pullbacks are very reliable in trading ranges. They are very typical. The market will pivot after the two legged pullback. So make sure you're watching and measuring the two legs. And you want to expect for prices to break out of the trading range and it's going to fail. Prices will eventually pull back at least temporarily into the trading range. And be careful trading right around the news because volatility is really increasing. So I hope the video was helpful, educational. I'm going to talk to you next time. Good luck, everybody.